Sometimes 3D features need to be created using a construction axis, particularly when a model edge isn't available. This makes the design process much more flexible, allowing for the construction axis to control the model geometry. Let's take a look at how to create a few different types of axes, including the axis through cylinder cone torus, axis through two planes, and axis perpendicular to face at point. The axes commands can be enabled from two locations, from the construct drop-down menu, or in the right-click menu under construct. For now, I'll start with the first axis type, axis through cylinder cone torus. Hovering over the tool in the menu, a tooltip appears showing which geometry to select to create the axis. For this type, a cylindrical or conical face needs to be selected. I'll select this command, and I can select a face. In this model, I could select a number of cylindrical faces, such as the hole near the front of the part, or even the outer cylindrical face of the disc, which places an axis at the center of the part. Each axis added to the model is included in the timeline below, meaning it's history-based and can be suppressed or unsuppressed if needed. In addition, any construction geometry added to the model is added to the construction folder in the browser where it can be turned on or off from view in the canvas. The next axis type, axis through two planes, requires a combination of two faces or planes to be selected to create the axis. This option is especially useful if a feature needs to be created using an axis that's not a model edge. For instance, I can select the two outer faces of the tab on the front and the axis is created where the two faces would intersect if they were extended. I could use this axis to create a revolved cut through the part, or another feature that requires an axis. The last axis type I'll cover in this lesson is axis perpendicular to face at point. This axis type requires two different types of geometry to be selected, a plane or face, and a point. This axis type is useful when needing to create an axis normal to a face at a specific location. I'll enable the command, then select this top face on the disk, and to select a specific point, I'll show a sketch I created earlier. Now, I can select the point at the end of the line, and the axis is added. There are a number of other axis options available, which give a detailed description in the tooltip of how they operate and how they're created.